Sup guys, he King here bringing you another live reaction to Attack on Titan, chapter 123. Last month we left off with the beginning of the rumbling. Eren finally got through to Ymir and convinced her to basically do, or in this case cause uh, the apocalypse. So, uh, what's more there left to say? Let's... Let's see what happens next. This is the beginning of volume 31. And by my calculations or accounts, for you know, obvious reasons, we probably only have with this included, we either have four chapters left, or, and I'm pretty sure I'm probably correct in saying this, we have eight more chapters left. So the series will end with volume 32 in June with a total of a hundred and 30 chapters and not 126 but we'll see maybe Isayama will surprise us and we'll get through the ending like that because you never know that Im imagine if there are only three chapters left in which case holy shit this this will end early next year but you know let's get to it let's get to it so um immediately we okay this is a bit weird we got into a ship Everyone says Eren has changed. I thought the same, but maybe that was wrong. So the next panel. So Eren. There's Eren wearing a suit and a hat. Next to him is Mikasa wearing a dress. Next to her is Hanji. Next to Hanji, I assume, is Armin. And they're just staring out. They're on the ship and they're staring out. Um, what is this? Is this like a flashback or something? Eren has never changed from the start. If that was Eren's true form, I wonder what part of Eren I had been seeing. So now we're cutting to the next page, and now we're seeing Connie and Jean's next to him, arms crossed, and uh, next to Jean is Sa Sasha, and obviously next to next to her is Armin, and next to Armin is Levi. You can tell it's Levi because he's the midget. Next to Levi is Hanji, obviously, and there's uh, Mikasa and Eren. So, yeah, these guys are all wearing dresses. They look like normal people. Is this them sneaking into Marlene? Uh, are we actually seeing how they got into Marlene? Interesting. And this is Connie talking. There really are towns outside the walls, and people are living in them. And Jean responds, don't say things like outside the walls in front of other people. Ah, I told, I told you, I get it. And Sasha's just like, at last, we are the first people from inside the walls to lay foot on territory outside the walls. I told you not to say it. And so Han like Levi and Armin are looking at her, and there's Hanji responding, we could say this is the job we were given from the very start. Our survey begins. That's actually quite clever. Our survey begins the job, you know, they're the survey corps. They were supposed to survey, and now the... Now, technically speaking, in, in a way, in a poetic, symbolic way, yeah, it, it does actually begin now. This is this was the objective from the beginning, to go out the walls, to see the outside world, and now they're doing that. So now they're exiting, and yeah, we begin the chapter with, yeah, with Hanji and Connie behind her, and there's Sasha, Levi, Armin, and Hanji and Armin have briefcases. There's, there's Levi with his hands in his pocket, and the tallest one out of all of them is Jean. They ended up seeing it. The truth of the out of the outside world, chapter one hundred twenty-three, devils of the island. So now we get introduced to. Uh, it's Okoyabayu comes in and is putting his hand. Oh, everyone, welcome to the continent of Marlene. I'll lead you to the Azamabe, as a as a Azu Azumabito residence. Right, so they're going to see the uh, Asian chick, and they're getting into the cars. Oh, they're no, they're seeing the cars. Ah. And there's Cardi, first one, pointing, that horse, is that a horse? Wait, and Sasha's like, a cow? Isn't it? A cow? That, and, and That's a cow. <laughs> and Hanji's like, it's a car. We heard about it before coming here, she's got her hands up. And, uh, hey, car. <laughs> and, yeah, Jean and Armin are just like, there's there's people behind them, obviously the Marlenes, and they're just giving their look, and there's Jean and Harvin like, shit, man, like, like, sh keep, you know, Stop acting like that, stop saying it like that, like, chill out. And I was like, this is bad. They're looking at them, 
And she <laughs> just pointed that out. Yeah, they're definitely thinking they're some kind of bumpkins right now. Bumpkins. <laughs> uh, let's pretend we don't know them. <laughs> Levi's just like, if you don't stop them, they'll try to make that lump of iron eat a carrot. <laughs> no way. The, the, and Uncle Ayu is like, no way. And now, and now he's turning, he's like, they're buying a carrot. <laughs> I want to, oh, I can't wait to see this animated, like, he, he is cheering, ha, ah, no way, and it's like, they're buying a carrot. <laughs> oh my god, these guys, they, I mean, you can't blame them, they've never, they've never seen a car before, do you know what I mean? I mean, but it's freaking Mel, you'd, you'd assume they would know better, right? Like, there's Mikasa, so many people. And, hey, Erin, we don't know what's in here, so stay close to me. And Aaron's just looking. Aaron? Uh, yeah. He's just looking ahead at something and he looks back at her and there's, there's Armin reaching for his hand. What are you being so absent-minded for, Aaron? We are in the outside world. And Aaron's just like, he's just, he's got, he's just got that typical dead stare. Yeah. This is the other side of the sea, right? And there's Okobai, you calling for them and Levi, hey, hey, don't work se separated. Especially you, <laughs> Levi, especially you. He's like, yeah, yeah you are. You're our ace in the hall, you're our trump car, you know, why you don't wander off, bitch. <laughs> like, like no, I was, we're, we're coming. We didn't notice. Or perhaps we didn't want to notice. And there's there's Sasha with I don't know, is this a bag of coin? Give me this please. Hey Sasha, you again. There's Jean. Thank you very much. Thank you for what? What are they? Oh, they're buying ice cream, I think. Oh, this is this is this is Sasha. This is cold one. Connie's just like, what is this? Is it your first time? Well, the guy's asking, is this your first time eating ice cream? And there's Gene with the ice cream in his hand. You try eating it too. And he was just like, they're standing out like that. Hanji, nobody's going to think they are the devils that came from that island. And now there's a clown behind uh, Levi. Hey there, kid. How about incredibly sweet candy? <laughs> and that was there's the clown getting closer. You, you can see the reaction shot to Levi. It's just like, like getting called kid. And the clown's getting closer. I'm talking to you. So cool, are you a gang of little children? And there's there's Mikasa with the ice cream, oh. Le 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 I, don't, I don't know what to say about Levi's expression, he doesn't look happy at all. He's not pissed off, he just, he just, he just, I don't know, he just looks disappointed at being called a kid, basically. <laughs> That's kind of sad, really, I feel, for, I feel for Levi there. And there's Mikasa, wow, Mikasa looks cu cute here. She looks very cute here, like, like she's got ice cream in her hand. And uh, I think there's Sasha and Corny walking up behind. And there's Jean buying more. There's a good smell coming from over here. That might be the thing Nicola told us about. And there's Jean. Three more, please. Sure thing. And there's there's Aaron. Just like waiting by the railing. Aaron, you eat some too. It's just like ice cream, huh? You knew about it? I just know because of my old man's memories. Audience from the internment zone could rarely eat it. Oh man, this guy is just a whole buttload of depression. And there's Aaron, even though the outside world is so vast, and there they, there he is with the ice cream in his hand, and there's a ship behind them. I think that's the ship they came from? I don't know. Looks looks nice, looks cool, and there's just people running about, children playing, people reading newspaper. There's Sasha, Jean, Connie just looking about, Okubayu with Levi and Hanji at his side. It's cute. It's cute. Okay, so we're on, I don't even know what page this is. And Mikasa obviously notices the dead stare in Levi's eyes and the people walking and there's Levi, hey. Oh. Let me go back up to the next panel because you can kind of see, you can see, you can see this kid with like the, with the hat, this hat standing out like, you know, typical Arabian kind of, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. And uh, there's Levi grabbing him and, and he, the kid's got the purse and he's in, in his hand and, there, and he's in front of Sasha. And yeah, there's people looking. Jean and Connie notice, and they're just sort of staring with the eye, like, like Levi, and he's like, "Hey," and he's like, "Hey, this ain't your wallet." So obviously, this was a a pick, and one of the people noticed a pickpocket, another immigrant from an en enemy nation, huh? Oh, everyone's staring at the kid now. How did you get here? Doesn't look like he understands. Uh oh, he probably slipped into the boat. Uh oh, people are staring, and there's there's Jean, Connie, and Sasha in the middle of it. How about we throw him overboard? Nah, let's smash his right hand instead. Let's have him hanged somewhere on the streets for everyone to see. Then the number of petty thieves will surely go down. 
that's that's overdoing it. So like there's Sasha grabbing the, the grabbing this Marlian dude, grabbing my like, hey, that's over. My wallet is fine. That's not up to you, long young lady. We have to apply a severe punishment to set the example. It concerns us who live and do business here. So you go on one side, you have got the Marlian people saying, yeah, well, this kid needs to be punished. On the other side, you've got you've got our heroes, obviously disgusted, and there's the kid in the middle of it all. More importantly, if it's an immigrant who got driven out of his country, then he might be a subject of your mayor. In the last few years, every country has been desperately conducting blood tests overall. It's not like one can sleep at night knowing that some blood from the devils might get mixed up in here. And there's the kid looking up at Levi. Levi looks at him. And Levi just grabs him under his hand. Hey, what, what are you doing? Who said it was a pickpocket? I just said this ain't your wallet. Because it belongs to that kid's sister over here. Oh, he's referring to Sasha. Well, it's a complicated family, right? Right? Big sis? Yeah, my little brother ended up causing trouble. And there's the people. I don't think they believed it. What's with that hogwash? Don't play with, don't play with us. And Levi's just like, let's go. And there's armor and Jean. Yeah, they're, they're, all, they're all running for it now. They're all running for it. And they're exhausted. There's Sasha on the ground, I think, exhausted. <laughs> and Gio on the floor. Where did that brat go? Over and Hunch is pointing over there, and there, there he is. There's the kid on top of a rock or whatever. He's got the he's got the wallet in his hands, and Levi's just like <sighs> cleaning himself up. Well, that was just uh, pocket money we got from the uh, Azamobitos. Oh, so they've already gone to see the Azamobitos? I'm confused by that. And there's just Aaron, Aaron again, standing straight up, dead serious, and Mikasa just looking at him, wondering what the hell is going on. So I'm gonna stop it here, guys, and move to the next part. And we're back again to part two. So um, it looks like they're at the Azabito uh, residence. So okay, they got the money beforehand, and now they're meeting with them, and uh, you can see the house. So this is what happened. It is certain that together with the technological advancement of blood tests, the existence of the subjects of Yume who had escaped from the internment zone all over the world has been acknowledged and has become an issue. So these got the Malians have blood tests done to determine. That means they got DNA tests, right? Or is there is there another way to find out who has a blood of Yume? Maybe it's like the thing where you heat up and suddenly just like <laughs> dumps out, you know what I mean? Okay, so we're meeting with the uh, Asian woman, uh Miss Azabayuto. I, I forgot what her name is, uh Miss Azamai Bito. At the time when the former Eldian Empire was at the peak of its prosperity, the fact of having the blood of the subjects of Yumea was held as a proof of being noble in various countries. At the time when the former Eldian Empire was at the peak of its prosperity, the fact of having the blood of the subjects of Yumea was held okay. Of being noble in various... Okay, so... Back in those days, it was like, oh, you're of normal birth, like, holy crap, you're important. With the decline of the empire, the higher ups of all the countries that were once civil to the Italian Empire came to the decision to chase them away from their countries. So these guys were all of the world, basically. This is the reality faced by Italians, Eldians outside the walls. So you've got everyone in a room now listening to what's being said here. Levi sitting in an armchair, Armin and Mikasa, uh, Mikasa sitting together, Connie and Sasha behind them, Jean standing up, and Hanji sitting down facing Levi. The same goes for the plan of establishing friendships with other nations. I cannot help but express how exceedingly difficult that is. There's other people in the room there as well, so obviously I think these guys are with the other Mabitos. Unless, because this can't be a private, this, this is a private thing obviously with them, so if, if this was like an every thing, people would be hearing this and they would be in trouble. So clearly these guys that are in the background are with them. Uh... Honey, just, yeah, Sasha, because it's great to see Sasha, by the way, again, but man, it hurts, like, it hurts that, it hurts. Everyone just looks, feels down, Armin now, it's Armin's turn to talk, but does that, does not, but does not that mean, okay, the translation is, either, but does not that mean that if we abandon the path towards peace, we'll have no other choice but to support Zeke's strategy, to entrust, to entrust our fate to him, and sacrifice his story and our, and our future children, Hanji. Yeah, of course, we're, we're here so that the future can be avoided, so that this future can be avoided. And to ask the Association for the Protection of Yemir Subjects or something to take the podium for the first time at the International Forum taking place tomorrow. The ideology of this organization still isn't being acknowledged. And that's that's Azamai Obito saying that the ideology of this organization still, still isn't being acknowledged. So, 
there is an association for the protection of Yemir's subjects or whatever, an organization, and they want to take the podium and ask for the protection of that. So, yeah, well, first off, we need to proceed cautiously and get to the bottom of it. Furthermore, if our wish to have an audience with this association does come true, now she's now as a beauty is talking, they will make an announcement regarding Paradi Paradise's wish for peace. Yeah. She's, she looks a bit sad here, like, so she's thinking, oh, well, now. Of course, us members of the Azamabito clan shall spare no effort to assist you towards reaching peace. However, how feasible do you expect it to be? And she's asking, you know, she's asking how to do this. I get that it's terribly difficult and terribly dangerous as well. However, that doesn't mean that we can't try our best. And just typical re reaction shots of the others. Eren's not here. I don't see him here, so where is Aaron? Exactly. Mikasa just stares at her. Where's Aaron? Oh, okay. So, someone brings it up. Where's Aaron? So now, now I think, yeah, Mikasa's going out and there's Aaron. And there's camps. There's camps here. Clearly, like, I can see some people ahead in the background there. Camps with lights. Aaron. Don't you know that you're the enemy's prime target? Everyone has been searching for you, and there's a tear in this panel. Because I was behind him, you can, you can just see, you can just see Aaron's lower face, and he's crying tears. And Mikasa is wiping the tears away. Mikasa seems taken aback by this. Oh, and he's look, he's looking at one of the tents, and it's the it's the kid, the yeah, immigrant, and it looks like he's with his little brother and possibly father. Mikasa, is that the boy from the market? Did something happen? Nothing yet. What do you mean? This is this is where those who lost their homes from the war are living. The same as we were. One day, our everyday lives suddenly ended and everything was stolen from us. There's the immigrant hugging his dad, hugging there's, I think there's his family. All of our freedom was stolen from us. And it's just them two now just staring there into the camps. Mikasa, why do you concern... Mikasa, what, and this is Mikasa, huh? Mikasa, I think Aaron tried to, is that, no, that's Aaron, I think Mikasa has just walked up ahead, I think, a bit. Mikasa, why do you concern yourself so much with me, huh? Is it because, is it because you were saved by me as a child, or is it because I'm family? And Mikasa just confused, huh? huh? What am I to you? No, Mikasa is flushing, flashing red now, she's getting embarrassed. Face is going red. Uh, you are, she's like, and you are family. And there's the guy, the father, I think, or the uncle, the granddad. He's walk, he's walked up to them, and he's saying something, but we can't understand them. And he's got, he's got tea. Oh, he's got like, he's got like typical uh, Persian tea there, like, because that's how we, that's how we like to drink our tea. In those little glasses, but that, but that's cute. So clearly they're like Middle Eastern people, and there's tea. Uh huh. Looks like he's trying to make us feel welcomed. And there's the others. There's Connie, Sasha, I think. Is that Sasha or is that Hanji with Armin and Jean? Hey, it's it's Sasha and, and then... What the hell are you doing, Aaron? Are you an idiot? Perfect timing, huh? And he's calling them over, like, to come... Oh, and, and they've gone into the guy's tent. He's, he's invited, And they're sitting down they're having, like, an Eastern European... Uh, Okay, this is definitely Saudi Arabia-inspired, I think, so... On the carpet on the floor, Ian. Yeah, Aaron seems kind of happy. Like the others are just confused, and Gene's the only one with his hand. Like, why are we here? And they're drinking. Is that soup? I don't know. Is that glass? Is that canned soup with water in it? And they're drinking it. He's picking up and he's drinking it. Obviously, he likes it because he's smiling, and the guys laughing in the background. Everyone else just seems so confused, and they're taking it. I think it was yeah, it was alcohol. Yeah, the uh, Connie and Jean are just like they're hugging the granddad, like they're side by side with him. There's Mikasa and Sasha like head to head together, like uh, wasted. Um, there's Armor just like ha oh happy and everything, and the kids bumping into Aaron and he just spilled the drink goes into his face, and the grandfather's pouring more. Jean, 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 Jean and Connie, Jean just ran out. Connie and Jean just ran out. And then they came back with more alcohol, and there's like Armin and, and the girls reaching up for it. That's funny, man. 
You've got you've got the people drinking and there's Mikasa and Armin sitting with the ladies and there's just Eren in the background. There's Sasha giving the alcohol to the kid. The kid's drinking the alcohol for Christ's sake. And Jean's just like falling on the floor. And like yeah, everyone there's there's Eren just smart he's happy, he's not smiling, it's like that. It's like a nice I think you can call that a smart can't you? And Armin and Mikasa and Armin are happy and there's there's Levi look and Hanji and Okobayu looking for them. They get there, and everyone's just wasted. Jean and Connie together. Connie's got one of the hats on. There's, 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 uh, there's. So I think that's Sasha throwing up into one of the uh, into one of the uh, pans or whatever, into one of the buckets. And there's Armin on the floor, just wasted. And there's there's Mikasa uh, wasted on the floor next to Aaron, head next to Aaron's head, and now Aaron's leg over Jean's neck like that. That's funny, man. And there's the granddad, I think, with the kid. And yeah, just just peace, man. Just Mikasa, Eren, and Armin just boozed out of their minds, just chilling there. That's lovely, man. That was a nice, happy moment, man. You, you don't get a lot of happy moments like that. And it's nice to be reminded that the world can be beautiful, that it's not just all doom and gloom. But uh, now it's getting serious. I think I think they're at this association thing that they wanted to go to. Holy shit! It looks like it looks like London Parliament here. Literally, it looks like London Parliament. Um, the, the the conference or whatever. Except that there's no there's no middle table where it's just like a bunch of seats. Everyone's on that side, and there's people in the middle sitting down. I think there's a judge in front. We desire support for the refugees of the subjects of Ymir. The fact that they are Eldians or our dangerous perception of the Eldian Empire are irrelevant. They are just poor victims forced in by the Eldian Empire's crossbreeding. The ones we should have been despising from the start were those island devils. Okay. The ones to detest are the devils who ran away to that island 100 years ago. Our enemies are the devils of that island. Wow. And there's a... Uh, uh, Ababito, uh, uh, Amazabito, just yeah, it's not looking good. And Mikasa and Armin are just like shocked. Mikasa just looks behind, obviously. There's Eren walking out, and there's just Pete in the background. You just got people shouting furiously. Since that day, Eren disappeared from us. Afterwards, we wrote that he wrote that he would entrust everything to Zeke. So now, okay, so this explains how it all came together. They all came to Marlene, and then Aaron left during the association, during that conference, he left, and he snuck into the internment zone, and he made, obviously, he made Falcon to deliver those letters that he wrote to these guys here outside of the internment zone, where they were with Zanzabito and Okabayu, and he wrote those letters there. Afterwards, he wrote that he would entrust everything to Zeke, and you can see a panel of them, just of Levi, Mikasa, and Armin reading these, and there's just Hanji like. Christ, like Jesus Christ, the next time our faces met, it was already too late, and yeah, we're getting that panel of Aaron, obviously when he's emerging from his titan form, and the next panel, it's Sasha, dead, I wonder if there ever really was a better choice, and now we're cutting to Aaron just stabbing that dude in that flashback when he saved Mikasa's life, per perhaps everything was decided from the start, Regardless, I can't help but think if back then I had chosen a different path. And there's Mikasa in present time holding Armin on the rooftops where clearly the rumbling has just started. And she's flashing back to that moment where Eren asked her who she was to him. If perhaps she had said something else, Mary Eren, Eren would have chosen differently. I'm going to stop here because we're going for the final part now and it's getting crazy. So yeah, we're back again, and I'm just going to read what she said. Regardless, I can't help but think if back then I had chosen a different path, things would have turned out differently. Yeah, so now we're getting this Briggs spread panel, and holy shit, it's a freaking horrific, gorgeous panel. You've got Mikasa and Armin on the rooftop, and in front of them in the background to the sides, right and left, like sort of merging in the centre, you've got the colossal titans, the wall titans, having woken up and they're walking, and there's just smoke smoke in the air and in the center of all of this is the creepiest fucking thing i've ever seen pardon my french but 
this is some next horrific shit. The artwork here is brilliant, but what the hell is that? Like, there's there's a skeleton. Okay, it's got two legs, but as it's reaching the torso, it's like it's gone up, like massive, and there's just rib cages everywhere, like and it's and spikes just coming out of the back. Like it's it's like an endless, like an endless. I don't even know what you can call it. It's like the shape of an elephant's back or something if if you know if you could only see the bones it's hard to describe but it's freaky looking like what the hell is this like this is i think this is clearly Aaron but what the hell like like what's he transforming into and now we're getting the other panels of the wall titans and they're just going past Mikasa and Armin and the i don't i don't know if they i think they're crushing through buildings yeah, it's just, they all look the same, they're just trampling through, and there's Mikasa's reaction, just a oh, oh, horror, and then she's looking at that spiked thing. What is that? This is far too big. It, it looked like it appeared from when Eren was. This is... Eh, suddenly something's happening. Eren, she's trying to say, eh, Finn. Finn? End? Eren? Ain't here. Finn ain't here. We, we just... Something's happening. Like there's this noise, and she's uh, Mikasa's just like, and 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 Armin, Armin's just like, Eren's taking control of the founder. If the rumbling was activated before anything else, then that was surely Eren's will. He intends to crush the Allied forces that are carefully, that are carefreely gathering in Marlene. What? He intends to crush the Allied forces that are carefreely gathering in Marlene. Eren is on our our side. That's obvious. And, and now we're cutting to that building, the main building, and there's a... Uh, I forgot the chick's name. What was the chick's name? You know, the crazy chick. I forgot the crazy chick, and she's just looking, and there's Okobayu next to her, and the other's Zeke. And now there's a... Uh, now there's a shot. Yeah, it's Mikasa and Armin. Mikasa standing to one side on the roof, looking in one direction, Armin on the other. Aaron came back to us. And Armin's just like, that's... Mikasa, this is weird. Don't tell me. And she's looking and and Mikasa and she turns to respond to see what Armin's pointing at. He's pointing at even War Maria's collapsing. Just destroying the Allied forces shouldn't require this much. Just Shingongshia's outer wall. Just a few hundreds of Titans should be more than enough to think it launch an attack that would make us lose even the walls. If it's just to crush the Allied troops massing in Marlene. If it's just to do that, then this is. And now, okay, now we're cutting to now we're cutting to. Oh crap! Um, Mikasa and Armin are in the uh, path dimension now. There's there's the big tree light thing with the veins, whatever the roots spreading, all lot from the sand to all the subjects of Ymir. And now we're cutting back to they're back, they're back on the roof now again. What the hell's going on? Like, what? Just now, Aaron's voice. And now they're back in the past dimension, and they're clearly hearing Eren's mark. My name is Eren Yeager. I'm using the power of the Founding Titan to address all of Ymir's subjects. If he's, if this means all of Ymir's, of Ymir's subjects, does that mean all the Eldians in the internment camp zone as well? Now we're cutting to Connie and Jean, and they're in the past dimension too. The, harden, the hardening of all the walls present on Paradise Island has come undone. Oh boy. And all titans entrapped within them have started marching. And now we're cutting to Reyna, and there's Gabby on the floor, and there's Pickums, and there's someone on the ground there next to Pickums. I think that might be Falcom, I can't be too sure. My objective is to protect the people of Paradise, the place where I was born and raised. Oh god, this is. And now there's a whole bunch of other people here. Um, we're just seeing their backs. There's some kids holding hands, women, men. However, the world wishes for the annihilation of the people of paradise. The hatred that has been swelling up for so long will certainly not end. Not until just the Paradisians, but all of Ymir's subjects have been eliminated. I reject this wish. I'm thinking these are the Eldians as well, maybe from the internment camp. I could be wrong. And now we're cutting to Armin. Holy crap, his face looks completely bloody different. He looks all devilish and shit, man. Like, he looks completely evil and psycho here. Like, it's horrible. 
the wall titans shall trample all earth outside of this island underfoot until all life existing there has been exterminated from this world. Oh boy. To be continued and that's it. It's just the... Wow. Wow. Uh, Aaron has gone full psycho and he's turned him to himself into some giant ass titan. Like a huge ass titan. He looks like the devil here. It's scary looking as shit. And yeah, um, what is there to say, man? Like, goddamn. Um, and the Allied forces are massing in Marlene, and he's gonna need all these Titans there. So yeah, I mean, yeah. From the sounds of it, it looks like Aaron's pretty much made himself the main villain. I mean, he's saying this. He's saying this. So clearly, this is his wish. Uh, he wants to kill everything outside of Paradise Island. He's gonna wipe everyone out, that's his goal. Crap. I mean, are we surprised by this? Are we surprised by this? I mean, look what he did at the internment. He didn't give a shit, he sacrificed all those Eldian people too, so... Eren's gone psycho, he's gone psycho, he's gone psycho, like... There's no two ways to cut about it, he's gone psycho. And I think I think there's either two things happening. Either either he's doing this to make himself the villain, and he's going to have the Paradise guys come in and kill him and stop him, and that's how they're going to make peace with Marlene and the rest of the world because the Paradise di the, the Devils of the Island came and they fought and they killed Aaron Yeager to save all of us and the world. They're not the Devils. They saved us, they protected us. They didn't have to. That's what I'm thinking is happening. I think uh, Eren is putting a... Uh, I've never seen the anime, but I, I know what happens in it. At least I know the ending. But I think Eren is pulling a La Rouge. Is that, am I saying that right? A, a, a La, La Rouge? And he's making himself the villain to have his friends kill him. And he's, he's, basically, gonna, he's basically doing this to sacrifice himself. Or, number two... He's literally lost it, and he actually wants to kill everyone, and he doesn't give a shit anymore. Or this is just this is just basically a kill two birds with one stone. I'm either gonna wipe everyone out, and paradise will be safe, or my friends are gonna kill me, and make themselves out to be heroes in front of the rest of the world. In which case, boom, that that works as well. At least then the Odians will sort of be safe now. Though you know there will be something will happen with that. Like it has to, right? So yeah, that's my prediction, guys. Um, of what's going to happen next, and I do think that the yeah, I think with this, it confirms that there's probably a lot more chapters left. So definitely, definitely seven more chapters because I can't see this wrapping up in three more chapters. I can't, not not with not with what's been established and set up with this chapter now. Like he's going to Marlene, he's going to Marlene, and something has to happen there. Like that that plane still needs to come into play. Levi and Hanji need to come into play. Annie needs to come into play. Like like surely she's not in the crystal anymore, right? Like come on. Um, Damn. 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 What more can I say, man? Like, crazy chapter. Crazy chapter, but uh, brilliant chapter nonetheless. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked my reaction to this. As always, like and subscribe, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Uh, I've got the next, what? two weeks off I think so uh, I'll be spending it properly playing Death Stranding for the remainder of that time I don't know if I'm going to stream it or not I'm not really in the mood to stream something like that you know what I mean it's a long ass game so yeah uh, and I'll be looking forward to doing my reaction to next month's chapter like and it's crazy because next month's chapter is going to be the last chapter of the year and then we're on to New Year's the month after that and then uh yeah oh crap it's crazy it's crazy like this this series is coming to an end guys we're slowly coming to the end like <coughs> it's crazy man i'm getting there though we're getting there anyway guys peace